Hello, Glitch Ripper here. I uh, managed to finally find something very special I was wanting to test. Namely, um, this is a bronze dungeon in the ether, and I'm thinking of trying something very special in here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna fly. Oh well, just kind of fall in. It seems to be an intersected cave version, which is kind of a rare variant. But I'm curious if a, if a few things will work, and there is the slider right there. Like, seriously. Okay, I'm gonna check out these chests first, if I can. Oh yeah, I just remembered. I'm gonna have to see how I'm doing on space. Mmm, possible. I mean, I don't entirely need this bonus, uh, inter sack right now anymore, so... Yeah, uh, do I have... Like, well, I, I do also have a backpack. So that's a thing. So, that is full, however. I, I need to transmute a few things. Namely, things that have EMC values. I don't really need the shears right now. So let's, let's try this again. I need to clear out a little space. Why I have that emerald pick is I want to see if I can uh, use it to do something very specific. And it has to do with that slider. I think the emerald pick will work. Like, just about guaranteed. Why is some of my sounds working and some not? I know I had a bit of an issue recently, but I not entirely sure. I'm pretty sure you'll be hearing it because this does uh, gain volume a lot better, but there, there was some uh, resets and other things I had to do recently, so that might have something to do with it. Either way, one mimic down, apparently. There are two mimics down. Can I just, like, speed smash? No. I don't have enough haste on my fist to do that. Well, that was... Ooh, sweat cape. Can I scan you? I can get the Skyroot uh, chest, but not that. A Xanite shovel works. But it is a shovel, so it knows it universally as a shovel. So, there is that. The sweat cape is pretty cool, though. Gonna equip that immediately. Because now I can ride sweats. I, I know I kind of jumped into the ether pretty hardcore. Ugh! You guys. Okay. Bye now. I clicked on it, did not think about it, but it worked. Okay. Fair enough. Of course, I always take my, uh, my chest as I go, because that way I know that I've been there, because that means no treasure here. You've already taken it. I hadn't done music just yet. Okay, that's kind of surprising to me. That actually has a value. Well, maybe after I go through a few other things, I'll, I'll do that. Okay. More enchanted darts. Brosium torches up. Skyroot poison bucket. Useful for certain things. Like making. Uh, <clears throat> darn lips. Like making poison uh, arrows. Okay, are there any more? So I want to go through all this before I take on the boss. But yeah, I know it's kind of. Well. I, I already did do a Valkyrie dungeon, so I'm not really skipping around too much. In fact, this is kind of going to do what I should have been able to do before. They are actually fairly resilient. They can take several of my power punches. And that says something. It says they are really resilient. Now, is there anything over this way? Nah, doesn't look like it. Other than a few... Uh, glowing... Wait, is that... 
Yes, I'll take you. Um, thank you. These areas are sometimes... These are sometimes, uh, a little more common in these kind of cave areas. It's kind of like going with regular caving and finding out that you can get more ores along the sides. In fact, I might want to look at the cave walls around here that's uh, present in this dungeon and just make sure I hadn't missed any. Nope. Uh, most exciting thing otherwise is Mossy Holy Stone. Uh oh, I'm hearing something outside. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, hopefully that part's over. No. Just because I need to do some slashing. So I need to see if I can feed this some, some proud souls. So I want to keep this out just in case. Because I thought I'd swept that area clean, but apparently not. Okay, well that obviously doesn't work. <laughs> okay, now here, here's part of the actual test. It can my fist do it whenever... Nope, just because it counts as a pickaxe. Darn lips. Just because it counts as a pickaxe, it uh, doesn't necessarily work. Now this has a harvest level that uh, well, it has a ability to act as a pickaxe because the Geonox spear included. That's why it was working before. So yeah, that's not. Can I even burn you? I think they're fireproof. Nope, they're, 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 they're fireproof. So I guess I have to actually use an emerald pickaxe. Now, I have combat armor because of my whole I am a monk thing. I'm wondering how well that's actually going to work against a uh, slider. But I guess first it'd be time to use the devil lasagna. I'll probably use that over the gelatinous slime drops because this gives me strength for a good period of time. So let me meal up. Yeah. Wow, nine. Uh, uh, over ten minutes. This is gonna smart. Okay. in because of the Okay. Need to eat a little. There we go. Circle around a bit. This is actually doing decent damage. directions that kind of helps but they can they can turret pretty fast I'm gonna have to get some more pinky meat classic move Okay, it's in rage mode. So it hits harder and moves faster. Right now I'm not in a good spot for my mouse. Which is a very bad complication to be in in the middle of combat in Minecraft. Because uh, you're very dependent on your mouse. <laughs> ok, 
gotcha anyhow. Uh, I need to reposition my mouse a little. Uh, get a little more uh, wire free, uh, freedom there. Okay. Got a yellow heart. Nice. Best part is I actually have space for this stuff in here without having to worry too much. Okay, bronze key, so classic moment. Uh, I think I can nibble up some of this because I have plenty of oomph left. I just need to heal a bit. Maybe I should have had a different major meal, if I, assuming I could get the right stuff, because there's, there's, sometimes you're a little limited by your stuff for your like, nice meals. So, it's just what you have available. Oh yeah, that strength boost is still going on. It's just strength one, but still. Uh, I actually need to check on something again, so I'll be uh, figuring out what's in this box in a moment. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, so let's see what's inside this box. A uh, couple of lightning knives? Okay, th those all stack. That's good. Flaming swords. A phoenix bow and a shield of repulsion. That's 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 good because I, I think they're actually universal for all of the dungeons except that they're just kind of around in a low rate. So that was lucky because it's been a while since I've gotten one of these and it took a bit of searching before. So yeah, uh, let's put that in there. Yeah, because I'm gonna need a just a little more room to pull this out because flaming swords. Flaming swords are nice. Luckily, this one I can just equip. Can I just... Yeah, I can do that smoothly now. It's, it's, I, that's cool they got that integration. Uh, just the classic you can click it to equip it uh, sort of thing. So that that's good with how vanilla is supposed to work. So, yeah. Okay. Scan flame sword. I can scan the phoenix bow. That's good. Uh, can't scan the miscellaneous accessories. That's kind of a bit of a downer, but uh, whatever. I mean, I, I consider that fair. Wait, did I try scanning the lightning knives? Uh, apparently you cannot. Can I? Wow. <laughs> I have an ability called World Breaking Fist now. It means I can break anything in the world that is breakable. E so, so, I angle it this way. Yeah, it means I act I won't accidentally uh, <laughs> break out other blocks. That's cool. Okay. So, oh, did I accidentally um uh, smash a little something? Holy stone! I can always get more of this. So I'm, I'm just going to put that back for now. Remember that the cave is... Oh. Hello again, you. Ah, I was trying to do the other thing, but it wouldn't let me in time. Oh well. I tried. Yeah, that helped. Does it have any more souls? How does this not have... Do I have to do combos specifically to get a uh, proud soul on this thing? Oh, hello. It's a cockatrice. Raw cockatrice. Uh, thing is, uh, it may be E3 Legacy, but uh, there are some things that have been kind of continued in that's uh, kind of special. So I just got a, a, a piece of raw cockatrice meat. That w I don't think that was in the original original, but I'm glad that they added that in because it was very logical that it would be. Uh, can I actually cook this? Does it, does it let me cook? Yes, it does. Burnt cockatrice. <laughs> um... Uh, it doesn't sound more appetizing, even if it is. Ether enchant- oh! I can use it in the enchanter, aka, uh, altar? Yeah, it looks like I get a lot more out of it that way than I do 
Uh huh. I see. So I just have to sacrifice the little ambrosium, and there I go. So enchanted cockatrice. Very delicious. Oh wow! It, it does, it's a good thing I checked. It's got it's got a two station. You can make cooked enchanted cockatrice, and it's like oh my gosh. Uh huh. Hello. <laughs> That's good meat. I might actually be more aggressive against the cockatrice or cockatrice around here <laughs> because of that. Because that 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 seems incredibly delicious. Uh. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Okay. Uh. I'm going to settle down. I'm going to uh, put a few things in my inventory real fast. And, uh, and maybe uh, did I try to scan that? I, it does not scan. Oh well, I mean, I, I have to try scanning it, even if it, if even if it doesn't want to, to do. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna keep that in there just as a reminder. Please cook. More tool. Okay. Oh yeah, now I now remember I was actually going to uh, get my, uh, my minion to help me fly. Well, rather my my uh, my mount, my grand caco demon. Okay, that takes care of that pretty well. So let's see. I've been in this area for a while, so maybe it's just flying on a mount means it's a little less smooth on the generation. That could be it, because I'm still trying to figure a few things out. A purple moa, nice. Uh, I have a special add-on that actually lets you get more MOAs, although I think it's calling them all from Ether Legacy, even if it's from the add-on. So that, that that's a thing that I'm not entirely sure of. Like some of these MOAs I know I don't remember the color of being in the original. And this is Ether Legacy, so they, they kind of went off that. So I, I think those are from the add-on that adds more MOA colors. I don't know how their stats are compared with the other MOAs. And I'm on the lookout now for possible gold or other new dungeons, because I did finally add in uh, lost content, which grants access to... that does not look like it uh, came in right. Okay, now it is. It was just kind of a little slow there. Okay, we have acre plants. But yeah, I kind of zoomed around and was just looking selectively for a few things. But yeah, there, there's actually a lot of things I need to do in the ether that would normally be beginning steps that I admittedly kind of skipped over looking very diligently for a bronze dungeon. Oh, here's a classic feature that's really awesome that they managed to bring it back. Whirlwinds. Whirlwinds have a few different things they can do. Oh. Okay, I, I shot past it. Okay, but uh, if they're white, they give you kind of items. If they're black, they might uh, throw a creeper out, oddly enough. Oh, and those beehives are actually from bewitchment, but I'm not sure how to harvest the bees yet. So, I'll have to figure that out. I think it might be in the book. I think they got it in the documentation how to do bees. So I'll have to look that up whenever I get back to my little uh, uh, bookshelf full of stuff. I, can't do I cannot call it a library yet. Uh, it's not deserving of the term at, the, at this point. Although I'd love it to be. love to have a personal library worth of various books around here. But it's just not there yet. Okay, I'm, I'm looking for a gold dungeon because I'm curious how well monk powers would work against a, a, a sun spirit. Because I can fly and therefore adjust my height pretty effectively. 
and monks also get the ability to negate certain projectiles and I'm resistant to fire. Kind of resistant to fire. And now that I'm thinking about it, maybe it wouldn't be the best matchup until I have actual fire resistance potions. Uh, which is pretty easy because I got the stuff for him, so I, I should be able to at any point. And this is definitely jitterier on the mount. I think... I'm, I'm sorry to say this, but I think it's... I, I think it's you. I think as long as I fly on my own, I'll be fine, or it'll be s smoother. So, sorry about this, but y the idea of flying around on the ether with you just isn't going to work for now, Cackles. Yeah, it seems a lot smoother now. Maybe it was the... Maybe it's the mount camera. So I was, I was wondering about that. So... That might be what was causing that issue. Either way, ether, day or night, is always beautiful. I'm glad I became a 20th uh, le level monk. Oh, okay. Here we go. I'm up for this. I can always find another one if I really need to. Okay, I got my foods. That's gonna be good. Uh... Oh, it does have some Proud Soul in it that's more than 109. That's nice. Finally, count it up. Unfortunately, even if it does help me against this guy, I'm not going to be able to uh, utilize that in the uh, way that you'd normally think. See, I'm trying to remember, does this have reach? Because I, I think pikes are supposed to have some reach. But it would be interesting trying to do it with a pike. This would be ironic. This is good. Fist has a lot more damage, though, because of my specialty buffs. So, yeah, yeah. I might go with Fist. So, you know, it's getting around that time already. So I might call it a day and be back and fight the Sun Spirit another time. But first, there is maybe a few things I'd like to do. Because I, I, I have a transmutation table. And uh, how's my... Uh, okay, bobbles are working fine. This needs to recover a bit. Um, there you go. Sometimes that does get a little blinked. I, I, need, I really need to enchant that pretty heavily at some point. Uh, so I need some enchanted books. Uh, now this guy is a whole other story. No, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, just between like this and my other inventory, I did pretty well. I'll just have to probably diffuse it more in between, and I should be fine. I was thinking for a moment that I might want to get even more inventory, but then I realized, wait, I've got a backpack, I've got this inventory here, I've got my, uh, my various, uh, like, pets and mounts that themselves have inventory, so I don't think I'll really need to get an alchemical bag yet, so I don't think I need to go all out that way. But this guy, on the other hand, okay, he's, he's, he's gonna have a, a, de a definite, uh, I'm, I'm coming for him next thing. But, Here's another question. Can I have more cockatrice, please? Because now I'm seeing that that meat is like super tasty. I mean, it's like extremely, extremely edible. Like lots of edibility. Also, there's something that seems to be presenting itself to me here and there. There's glowing pools and I'm not sure if they're mana or ooze or what. Because liquid mana is a thing for the for the wizardry mod. That I believe is ooze. Yeah, they just confirmed it. Because ooze makes Arctic mob show up. So that's ooze. It was just kind of giving off a decent amount of light. So I'm gonna try to stay within the radius of that thing. Because I I wanna I wanna see if I can Okay. Moa's 
We have Moas. There's another cockatrice. Hi. I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna t t take you down if you can get away from the Moas so that I will not accidentally slice them, please. Then again, my fist might be able to take care of it. How much? Okay, it looks like a, it'd be about two hit. That's a pretty dark colored moa. Oh, critical hit. That was perfect. I mean, these things are meals, and they do keep coming back, so, yeah. Why can I not scan animals? I would really like to. Like, like here is a, uh, here's a classic. We have a, uh, flying cow. <laughs> is it how now, flying cow? We, kn we know the old ram. We, kn we do know the old ram, right? However, um, I, I don't have a saddle on me right now. Oh, hello again. Now, did I repulsion that one? I repulsioned that one. Yeah. I mean, it does bounce it towards them, which is awesome. I mean, that is a repelling shield automatically. That is cool. Okay, now I need to swing around and make sure I can still see that. Okay, because I want to stay within that area while I'm harvesting some cockatrice. Because their meat is delicious. I mean, seriously, whenever I found that out, that, that was a good surprise. Again, I'm not sure if that's part of Ether continuation, uh, Ether lo uh, lost content, or if that was added into Ether Legacy directly before all that. But I like that because I don't think you could do that before. I don't think you could even get cockatrice meat, let alone uh, like enchant it and cook it. So I'm definitely going to do some uh, some mining of of the Ether because I'll be needing some supplies, uh, including of course just to get myself a nice altar and all the stuff needs to be fran off ambrosium although there is an interesting thought i might be able to actually do pretty quickly yeah okay so i got an idea i've got holy stone and we got these nice oh i still need to scan the leaves of the sky retreat maybe it's that it's just not telling me that is something broke with my uh, with my thumbcraft? Oh, hello. Um, that happened. Uh, gotcha. Finally, that that uh, I, I was having a hard time locking onto that target for some reason. Uh. But yeah, it's interesting to note that spirits will show up here. Uh, that that was a bit of an interesting surprise. Because I thought they were relegated mostly to the overworld. But I guess not. That was a pleasant surprise, too. But yeah, what I need is I need some skyroot planks. You can make skyroot sticks. Need to craft up a bit. Now I get a holy stone sword. The thing is that this gives me an in, uh, darn lips. This gives me an endless supply of ambrosium. So as I if I attack things with this, then there's a chance that I get ambrosium in the process. So if I attack hostiles like oh say I'm hunting more cockatrice in between, then like that one that still will not go away from the passives. Oh, finally, it went away from the passives. Ah, see, whenever that happened, there would be a chance that I would have gotten an Ambrosium Shard. And because I have the ability to uh, repair my stuff, then that means that... Uh, because of my repair talisman, I have an unlimited ability to get ambrosium shards. So that is 
what I'm thinking of doing is I'll just attack things normally the ether with this, get Ambrosium Shards, and then I'll have an indefinite ability to use the Enchanter, or rather the Altar. And there is a lot of ores in this one especially. I, mean, I, I see some pretty good stuff here, like Ice Stone, Xanite, uh, my ether sense is tingling. And yes, there is in fact uh, some uh, some of what I'm after to get things started right here. We have Ambrosium, uh, the good stuff. This is this is the ether startup usual that uh, that you get. Of course, I also need some xanite because I I think I need to use xanite to make the. That was interesting compatibility. I was harvesting something that was a slightly more precious than normal ore in the ether, and I got a vapula. A uh, vapula will uh, usually show up whenever there's things that are uh, more precious, like gemstone type stuff. So they're kind of a specialty version of a Geonoc. And oh, by the way, most of that EMC was actually from me just taking materials I'd had in that eerie dungeon and converting them. So it was worth a lot of points. Just an absolute enormous amount of points. And I'm going to save my uh, my uh, my thing. So, yeah. So let me see if I can get what I need here. Because I need a bit of Xanite. Not much, but a little would be nice. Okay. And I think I need this to make my altar. Yeah, they they have by the old name here is Enchanter. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> yep. Everything's working. Ethereum core. Ooh, Xanite Shield. Yeah, that's what they would have added later on. What do I use you for? An Ethereon Chest. Okay. I'm intrigued. <laughs> Apparently you run on packed ice. I'm good with that. Um, okay, I have a lot of Holy Stones, so... So I will be able to charge up this stuff pretty easily. So I know I can quickly cook that. Yes, I do. Thank you. Uh, but so basically, if I use Ambrosium Shards in the Enchanter, I can enchant the raw cockatrice, and then I can cook it to make a super good food. Not an absolute highest tier type, but pretty far up there. And oh my gosh, it's Gravitite. Uh, did I have Gravitite before? Yeah, I did. That, that was, in fact, what I got before. So, uh, these dungeons are rich. So, um, thank you for your Gravitite? Uh, oh, interesting sudden question. I'm having a lot of unanswered questions suddenly answered suddenly. Uh, so... Like, very suddenly. Like, super sudden. I mean, a lot of stuff is just coming up to me very quickly. Uh, I wanted to check out if I could get uh, my custom stuff to work against a slider. And the answer is a resounding no. What about a cube? Mode cube. Or what What do you cube? I, I'm not getting what, what it's cubing. Uh, but anyhow... I'm going to try to take down this tree, and if it gives me any golden amber, then I'll know that uh, my fist will work for it. Otherwise, uh, I'll have to try to actually use the proper tools. Mm, does not look like I'm getting golden amber from this tree. I got the uh, sapling, which is extremely nice. Golden Oak Sapling. Did I get those before? I just forget. Maybe. But if I have the right tool, I can harvest them for uh, Golden Amber. 
I'm trying to remember if it takes Gravitite or if it takes Xanite, because I have a Xanite Axe. You know, I could just test that. There's so much testing in such a in such a hurry. Okay, is there? Okay, there's no. Okay, there there is no beehive for me to disturb. So, Xanite. Try to remember if it, is it Xanite. Because I'm not sure if I saw any drop. So it might be that it's a sort of uncommon and therefore might be a little tricky to determine off one tree. Uh, I think I would have got, uh, got one, but apparently I did not. That tree I don't want to disturb because it has a beehive. This one is definitely on the edge. I need a tree that's in a better spot. Uh, you look like a good tree. You look like a very good tree. Can you give me golden amber? Or do I need a better tool? I think I need a better tool. Okay, I got gotcha. you. I'm gonna have to enchant some gravitite and expend some of that on making an axe just so that I can get golden amber repetitively. So uh, getting my resources ready is going to be a bit of a thing. But it's that time. Uh, I, I believe that I should be able to kind of prepare in between for things. Ish. Well, not. I don't really need to that much. I mean, I've, I've got a lot of things that I already need to take this guy down. So I, I don't have to worry about that part. But I do have to look up and see, is it a gravitite axe that I need to get golden amber? Because then I, I have various things to spin this gravitite on, and not much of it. <laughs> so that's kind of a thing. Uh, so when we're back, I'm going to be uh, dealing with this guy. In, in fact, just, uh, just to uh, kind of... I don't understand how this works. What? Isn't it... What if, What am I doing? It's like, seriously? I, I was just trying to put it in my... Wrong thing. I was just trying to put it in my offhand. Swap item in hands. What else is... Okay, that's what's contradicting. Okay, I was just trying to... Just trying to strike a pose with this guy over here. I mean, I mean, it's not that hard of a thing to do is to strike a pose. Okay. Oh, wow, even just from the back, this looks pretty cool. You see both my weapons, my backpack and my cape. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I I'm just chilling with this guy here in the ether. And I'll be uh, back later, so I'll be signing off. Hope to hear from you all later, and bye for now, everybody.